What's going on guys, my name is Mitch Robs, and today we're going to be going over Imp South and Candy Valley Endurance. Uh, this is the last amplifier in my main Candy Valley Endurance base, so my personal base. Now, here's the deal, if you guys are a flex ant fanatic and somehow manage to pick that, wait till the end of the video and it will explain what's going on with that amplifier and what will be to come with my builds for that. So uh, stick around to find that out. So if you guys like this video, leave a like on the video and consider commenting down below um, if you guys are using these builds and if they're working for you. And if you have any problems, let me know in my Discord. Um, uh, there's a lot of people there that can help you and uh, there shouldn't be too many problems. I actually haven't really discovered too many people with issues on this. Uh, so that's a really, really good sign. Uh, so thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I have a creator card, Mitch underscore Rob's underscore. If you want to use it, it really helps support me, and it's made a lot of things come true that I didn't believe were going to come true. So thank you guys so much. So Imp South, it's the South of Imp Amplifier, and we went over that last video, and the specifics on it, it gets hit like wave 5, 10, or it doesn't get hit 10, it gets hit 5, 15, 20, 25, and it can get hit on wave 30 as well, but it has all those nasty uh, modifiers, so it has Storm Zone, it has Torn Apart, it has Space Rocks. A lot of nasty stuff that really I don't enjoy, but um, honestly, we built around it and it it's pretty easy. The big thing with this amplifier and the most challenging portion actually is wave five. Um, and I know that's gonna sound stupid, but the war games modifiers make it so that really just regular husk spawn, right? There's no like crazy waves, so right? Um, on space rocks and nothing really except for regular husk spawns and uh, torn apart nothing but really regular husk spawns so wave five is actually the only wave that things can go wrong and that's because of a storm zone that spawns in the middle of the block off and we've actually done stuff to prevent things getting weird with that with the smashers um but yeah that's the most challenging part of this amplifier and i think i've done a good job in solving it so yeah let's get into the traps and stuff like that so we had 91 traps in this 8,040 metal for 134 total structures from metal and 225 structures overall. I think that's pretty good for how big of an area it is. So we're going to have anti-air traps. These are going to be 11 of these and they're going to be two range, two reload heals and uh, built attached and durability. We're going to have a ceiling electric field with all durability and there's going to be five. 17 wall darts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Nine wall darts with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Two wall dynamos with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, heals, builds attached. Six wall dynamos with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Four wall dynamos with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Five floor freeze traps with all durability, two reload, effect duration. Five wooden floor spikes with two crit rating, two crit damage, heals, builds attached. Oh my gosh, talking sucks, guys. Four sound walls with all durability, blue reload, legendary reload. Two sound walls with all durability, two reload. Two sound walls with all durability, purple reload, legendary reload. Four wall healing wall spikes. Two wall launchers with all durability, one reload. Six ceiling gas traps with crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration. And three ceiling electric fields with crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability. All right, so 91 traps, and I hope you guys enjoy this and these builds come to good use of you. Now let's get on to the build guide. All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing the final side and amplifier of my main series in Candy Valley Endurance, right? Um, eventually, I'll go over a little mini series of flex amplifier, but that isn't in my main base, so um, that's going to be like a little side thing. Um, but right now, we're actually going to be doing uh, Imp South. So amplifi Imp Amplifier is my C amplifier, and it's this one to the far south. Um, and then, the, of course, it's the south direction. Um, as you'll notice, the big problem with Imp South is the massive amount of area that you have to block off slash tunnel off, right? If we build right here, if we jump up to right here, oh my god, I can't jump. If we jump up to right here, you can see that the spawns are all back here, right? And then there's this huge open area next to home base that they can walk. Since it doesn't get hit from that west, normally I would block that side off. But I have a little better solution to it this time. So, um, let's enjoy it. So, spawns, right? Simple enough, they're just going to be back here along this little ridge. There's going to be one up here, and then they're just going to be back here. Um, it's not too crazy of spawns, it's just a lot of area. But alright. So we're just going to have a converging damage tunnel. Basically, the path's going to be right here, 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 and it's going to converge into a single line towards the amplifier. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a giant plus in metal around our um, ghost amplifier. Alright, so giant plus around our ghost amplifier. In this particular wall on the north side, and on this particular wall on the north side, we're going to have windows. Alright? So the windows are just there so that we um, can shoot wall darts through it later on. On this particular southwest side, we're going to have a cone facing the southwest, and that's going to be surrounded in walls. And this is going to be a windowed wall facing the west. We're also going to have that same exact thing mirrored onto this side. So boom, uh, cone facing the southeast, and then this is going to be a windowed wall. And that's just so wall darts can shoot through it. Um, so the biggest challenge on this amplifier I've found, um, and I know this is just the weirdest thing, but it actually is um, wave 5. And you might be thinking, it's just wave 5, it's not that hard. Um, for this amplifier, smashers can spawn on wave 5, and since storm zones spawn on it, there's a storm zone that could happen right here where a smasher can charge through a lot of your builds. Um, so that's the challenge with wave 5. The rest of it's kind of easy. Tornado doesn't really affect this because it really only comes to about right here, and the majority of our tunnel takes place before that. Alright, so here we go. So we're going to start right here, and we're going to place a floor. We're going to place a floor, a windowed wall, a windowed wall. We're going to place a little hot dog wall right here. A hot dog wall right here. A floor. Ceiling, ceiling. So let's grab this back out. Um, we're also going to keep going forward. So behind these two windowed walls right here. So we're also going to have a windowed wall right here, by the way. So windowed wall, and then we're going to have two walls. The wall wall we're also going to do the same thing right here wall wall we're going to go back into the tunnel and we're going to keep going forward so you'll see that we turn right right here and that's where our window wall was initially so we're going to have another hot dog little wall right here a floor a ceiling and we're going to have a low wall i want to say let me see no we're still we're still going to have a windowed wall just kidding so windowed wall right here and then we're gonna have a low wall. And you guys will see, I do this in like every single amp, but this is just basically the combo wall dart wall dynamo. It's like your best killing combination. Now that we have that, we're gonna keep going forward. This is going to be a floor, floor, floor. So we just have three floors right there. And we're going to have an archway right here. This is just gonna allow it to path a little bit farther this way around this. And then we'll have a little edited low wall. Edited low wall. Wall and wall. All right, so that should be simple. That's half the tunnel right there, right? So this is literally just going to be mirrored. They're going to walk through here, get hit by some gas traps, wall darts, wall dynamos, and they're going to end up over here. So we're going to mirror that same exact tunnel on this uh, right side now. Um, but honestly, I'm going to start over here because, you know what? I'm lazy and we're already over here. So I do want to add the roof on this. So one, two, three. This isn't for traps because traps right here, like ceiling traps and floor traps are going to die to tornado. But I'm going to have anti-air traps on top of this for the space rocks. Um, so that's why we have the ceilings. And besides, you don't want flingers sitting here throwing, right? If they do make it this far in the tunnel. I don't think they actually do, but just to be on the safe side. So we're then going to take our low walls and we'll place two here. We'll get our full wall back out. We'll place one, two, three. One, two. We're going to make this a windowed wall. Or make this a low wall. All right. And we're going to keep on going through. We're going to have a floor. A window. Ceiling tile above. We'll have our little pathing tile right here. So it's just literally mirrored. So we'll have our little uh, hot dog wall here. I think we'll have a hot dog wall here. A floor. We'll have a hot dog wall here. A ceiling. Uh, no little edited window. We already have our edited window here. We're going to have a wall right here. A wall right here. A little windowed wall here. Ceiling, floor. Windowed wall. Wall wall right here and this is gonna have a windowed wall and that should be good right just to make sure i got it i'm looking through my little screenshots don't want to give you guys false information and that should be good and then we're just gonna have a wall right here as well so 
I that might be a lot, and there's also a water here. But this is just the outline of the tunnel, right? So you can, if you're, if you spend any spit any time watching my videos, you know it's gonna come. It's gonna have some ceiling gas traps, some wall darts, wall dynamo shooting, some sound walls, all the works, right? So yeah, that's the basis of our tunnel, and you'll see over here uh, at the start of it. So let's go all the way over here and look at it. We're just gonna have one, two, three walls across like this. So like that, and then we're going to have another wall right here. Um, and this will have a windowed wall. This will be a windowed wall and this will be a floor tile. Um, and this is gonna be our assassin tunnel, right? Because, well, it's gonna be assassin tunnel and for wave five, there's a storm zone that spawns right over here and flingers wanna get to that. So we're actually intentionally creating a weak point with these walls and we're gonna like block off the rest of this. We're intentionally creating a weak point with these walls so that things wanna come hit on this on wave five. Uh, and the assassin husks want to hit on this. So that's that's the thought process behind that. We're going to place a floor here. Wall. 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 Not too high. We're going to jump on up here. Theoretically, I'm just going through my screenshots. I took them really poorly this time. We're going to have a wall here. Wall. Wall wall and wall and as you guys can see they can't go anywhere this way without having to beat through something and since this is the weakest and closest to the mac grinder they're gonna go that way we also have to worry about flingers walking all the way around this way because this is open um which is kind of annoying right so they have this pathway up and they have this pathway up so let's go over there and we're going to place a wall right here so if you guys can see this little mountainous area there'll be that ramp right there and you place the wall here and then i just place one floor right here all right, and that should prevent every single husks uh, from going over there. I used to have just, I used to have a massive lobber shield right there. Um, and I used to have a lot of block off there, but it's just not needed if you do something like this. Uh, and it's worked out super well for me, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to then start right here at this little wall. It's a full wall. And we're going to place another wall up, another wall up, and we're going to have a ceiling tile. Now... One of those things is, um, well, yes, this tunnel's symmetrical. Um, it doesn't get hit equally. So we're just going to make a two by two right here. And we're also going to go out one right. I want to say right here. No. One more over. Right here. So this, this doesn't get hit equally, right? So if you're over here, only about a quarter of the spawns actually go through this tunnel. Most of them go through this. So I actually want to add a little bit of spawn trapping to kill smashers off on wave five, as well as this is going to kill the majority of the husks. Um, and the majority of the husks are going to go this way. So I want to add a little bit more protection, and a little bit more durability to our traps. And the way I'm doing that is basically adding spawn trapping there. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to work on the block off and we'll do traps in the later half of the video. All right, so we're going to come all the way over here to the right now. And we are going to place one cone facing the southeast right here behind this farther eastmost wall. We're going to wrap that in walls, so boom, boom. And we're also going to come directly diagonal to the northwest, and we're going to place a wall here, a wall here, and a cone facing the, um, I want to say towards the southeast. And then we're going to place a ceiling tile on top of that. This is going to eventually have an anti-air trap. We're going to go directly to the northwest again. We're going to place a cone facing the southwest and then wall and wall. We're going to come right over here and we should be good on our block off on this left side. It doesn't really require much. So I'm just checking my screenshots to make sure I got everything perfectly right for you. And I, I did on this east side. That's good. So the next little block off area we're going to work on is this uh, west side. And it's a little bit more extensive. Um, so we're going to come right here and we're going to place a cone facing the southeast. We're going to place a wall around this tile. Walls around this tile. Cone facing the southeast. Uh, we're going to have walls connected to this all the way over here. All right. We're going to have a cone facing the uh, southeast. We're going to have a ceiling tile on top and then a wall here because that's just going to have an anti-air trap on top. We're going to have, this is going to be empty. 
We're gonna have a cone facing the southwest, surrounded in walls. Cone facing the southwest, west, surrounded in walls. Cone, oh my god. Cone facing the southwest, surrounded in walls. And cone uh, facing the southwest, surrounded in walls. And we're just gonna have a wall here. And I think potentially we're also going to have a cone right here. So, believe it or not, that's all our block off on this amplifier. Um, and we don't really have a lava shield. Um, one of those things is that space rocks... Um, is that the storm zone made it so where, like, I used to have a big giant lava shield because I didn't want it flingers throwing over. But the anti-air traps are actually going to be able to kill the husks thrown on wave 5. And the tunnel's actually starting far enough out to where we don't need a lava shield on any other wave. So I'm just going to throw a couple of anti-air traps up and that should clean up every single lava that's going to be throwing or flinger at those storm zones. And I know that might be, like, scary, you guys, but it works out super, super well. So we're going to actually start trapping this out now. And we're going to do the little bit of a obscure places first. Um, just so like I don't screw this up massively. But we're going to come right over here. We're going to have a floor freeze trap. And we're going to have it all Dura 2 reload effect duration. We're going to place it here. We're going to have our heals builds attach wall dynamos. And these are going to be heals builds attach crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed. One, two of them. And we're going to have a reload speed wall dart. Um, this is, like I said, this is for the assassin husks and for like on wave five, if flingers want to walk over here to go throw out that, uh, storm zone. All right. We're then going to have our same little reload speed wall darts and we're going to place one here. Uh, our second one here, and then we should be, uh, moving on to like our sound wall portion. So we're then going to place our, I want to say blue reload sound wall. So we're going to have a blue reload, legendary reload, all durability. We're going to have one right here and one right here. All right, we're going to take our wall darts uh, and this is all going to be symmetrical, by the way, guys. We're going to have our reload speed wall darts and we're going to place one right here. One quick thing that we're going to add is we're going to have wall spikes with heels builds attached behind our uh, wall launcher right here on this inner wall right here this wall right here and behind this wall launcher because if on wave five a smasher does decide to charge right here um we just want these to heal back up so simple enough so you guys will see that these wall darts will be able to hit anything that comes through this window or like crosses here we're going to then place our wooden floor spikes i just have these as the crit build ones if you are scared of propane um i'm not too scared because i've had this work for me you can use the blue ones with all their ability so these bad bitches um, but I'm just not too concerned. I have heals builds attached on these and I haven't had a problem with propane yet. So we're going to have that there and then we're going to have a wall launcher with all durability one reload speed. We're going to place it there. We're going to keep going forward in the tunnel and we're going to look. Oh, that's weird. I think I built this wrong, guys. Um, this little portion up here. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, let's tear this section down. It didn't really place traps yet. We're going to place a ceiling tile there, and then we're going to do our little uh, wall, wall, one, two, three, four, and then one right here. I did this so that um, the ceiling electric fields wouldn't be next to the walls, so it wouldn't ignite the propane next to the walls. Yeah, I don't know why I just either mislooked at my screenshot or what, but that's how it's supposed to be. That's not too hard of a fix, though, and we didn't place any traps. We're going to place our all durability ceiling electric fields, and we're going to place five of them, one, two, three, four, five. And I misplaced, but right there. So five of those ceiling electric fields with all their ability. We're going to have our gas trap, and this is just going to be our normal crit build one. We're going to place one, two of them there. And I think we're going to place another one in a second. Uh, yeah, so we're going to place another one right here. So that should be three in total right there. We're going to place our all their ability to reload speed floor freeze trap. We're going to place it here and you want it so it's uh you're looking towards the north so that they get pushed backwards we're going to have our reload speed um wall dynamo i don't care you guys can put heels builds attached on the back of this i don't have it on there but i highly suggest you do if you really want it all right we're going to place a all durability two reload speed sound wall so two reload speed we're going to place that there we're going to have a reload speed wall dart so 
all durability to reload, not all durability, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability, and we're going to have it on both of those. All right. And we're going to keep going through the tunnel. We're also going to have a uh, reload speed wall dart here. And we will have a crit build one right over here. I can't get back there because I'm a noob. We're going to have a crit build one right here. So the highest damage one, damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, damage, durability. And we're going to have it there. We're going to keep going forward and we will have another wooden floor spike. So I have these as the damage ones. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with that, use the, um, like the blue ones or like a really low damage one. We're going to have our purple sound wall. So purple reload, legendary reload. So this one, we're going to place it here. We're going to keep going forward through this. We'll have an all durability, two times reload speed, effect duration, floor freeze trap. To the left, we're going to have a reload speed wall dynamo. So where are you reload speed wall dynamo? My God, I think it's 130. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have a crit build one. So our crit build one is 144 because that's just one of those traps I have 144 and we'll have it there. We will then be placing a reload speed wall dart. So reload speed right here. And for some reason, it didn't select it. There we go. And I want to place this one too, because I'm lazy, but we're going to place those reload speeds there. We're going to come right back here. We're also going to place a reload speed wall dart here and then a crit build one, like the high hitting one right here. Okay. So that should be the majority of our traps on this left side. Um, right here, we're going to start placing high damaging ceiling electric fields. So one, two, three of them. And this is getting close to where the tornado hits. Um, these may or may not break. They don't break all the time, but sometimes they will, but they're not really that important. I just wanted to zap them last second if they get close to this. We're going to have our reload speed wall darts, and these are going to be crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. And then we're going to have another little wooden floor spike down here. All right. Now, Tornado is going to break every single floor and ceiling trap from here on out. So I'm not going to place those. We're only going to have um, wall traps. So these are going to be heavy hitting crit builds on this left side. So wall darts and wall dynamos. And then on the right side, we're going to have the reload speed ones. So we're going to have our reload speed wall darts. Boom. Boom. And then the reload speed wall dynamos. Boom. Okay. So this is literally in case a smasher gets right here. Like I don't mind the smashers running the bridge and it works perfectly fine, but the, the less, so the less that you have them run the bridge, the uh, less likely it is to fail um, because weird shit happens in save the world. You can't prevent it. Um, but this is just to prevent anything from that gets this far. They're just going to get nuked down. So we're just going to go right back through this tunnel and we're going to add all these traps that we normally were. So we're going to have our reload speed wall dynamo. Boom. We're going to have our crit build wall dynamo. Boom. We're going to have our floor freeze trap with all derby ability to reload. Our wooden floor spike. So where is our wooden floor spike? Because I suck at finding it there. We're going to have our floor freeze trap. And I'm just doing the floor traps right now. And then we'll have our um, wooden floor spike right here. Because apparently I didn't put that floor earlier. We're going to place our reload speed wall dart right here. Boom. We're going to have our hard hitting one right here. We're going to have our blue reload sound wall. So blue reload sound wall. Blue reload sound wall. Wall dart with uh, reload speed. Wall dart with reload speed. Wall dart with reload speed ceiling tile right here and this is going to have a gas trap on it so crit rating crit damage damage crit damage effect duration all dura one reload speed wall launcher we're going to have to the right here we're going to have let me check it just to make sure it's symmetrical so i could go back through my tunnel but hey it'd be like that we're gonna have our wall dynamo and like i said i highly suggest putting the last perk as heals bills attached um if you are scared of propane but i'm not uh, in this particular case, I'm very scared of propane normally, but we're going to have a ceiling gas trap. We're going to have our sound wall, and this is going to be an all durability to reload speed one. 
we're going to come right over here. And this is going to be a reload speed wall uh, dart. So let's go find it. This will also be a reload speed wall dart. We're going to have a ceiling gas trap. We have our wall uh, dart right there. We're going to have our purple uh, ceiling or er, sound wall. So it's going to be a reload speed that's purple and then a gold reload speed and all durability. We're going to then have another uh, wall dart. And I just have this as reload. So let's grab it. Reload speed. And that should be all the trapping, believe it or not. Um, in this little sort portion of the tunnel. So our main tunnel, that's all trapped out. Now we have a bunch of anti-air traps that uh, we need to place. Um, but that's really about it, believe it or not. So we're going to come right here. And I suggest before placing this anti-air trap, go ahead and upgrade the stuff under these like uh, floors. Because you'll forget about it later, because I have before. But we're going to take our normal uh, anti-air traps. We're going to place one right here. Um, anywhere that there is a ceiling drop trap, you should never place these, but we don't have ceiling drop traps on this, so it's not that big of a deal. We're going to place one right here. So we're going to skip this first tile. We're going to place one here, 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 and here. So just following our ceiling, we're going to do the same exact thing right there. Uh, skipping our ceiling gas trap one. We're going to place one right here, and I believe that is all of our... Uh, anti-air traps and these are solely for wave five these will never get used outside wave five in space rocks um and it's just for those flingers and lobbers that want to throw at the storm zones um because if a lobber sits right here and throws at your storm zone and there's no anti-air protection they're just going to keep pounding these two tiles and it's going to break your tunnel right here so that's why we have it and i've seen up to i think or lobbers on that wave throwing at once so you need two of these anti-air traps per lobber so one two three four five six seven eight so all those eight are going to be able to handle those four lobbers and we have extras just in case so that's that's the logic behind having so many anti-air traps and i know it freaks people out because they think it's going to lag it but it's really not but yeah i actually think that's the end of the build uh, I'm going to go over my screenshots real quick just to make sure I did everything right. But I actually don't think I missed anything right there. And that was super short and sweet. It was pretty easy. Um, a lot different compared to my old M South build. I would say at least. Um, so we'll go over here and make sure I placed all the wall darts and stuff. So wall dart there. Okay, so I do have one wall dart location. And um, it's just going to be right here. It's the reload speed one. We're going to place it right there. I have had a blaster come right over here and beat on this. So this will just kill him before he gets there. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Now, this is actually the amplifier I didn't have gameplay for. Because um, I don't know. I just In all my runs that I was trying to record, I didn't get it. And honestly, I'm not going to go run it again to get this on the off chance I do get it on Wave 30. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And we will do a mini series for Flex eventually. Um, now... If you ask me about FlexAmp after this video, I'm going to be so pissed at you because I'm about to explain the process of why um, you aren't getting it just this second and what the difficulty is with doing it. All right. So this is going to be a little little learning session for you. This amplifier, FlexAmp, um, it has a north, east, and south direction. So normally if you have Imp Amp, you generally have um, hot, you have tornado, you have storm zone on this amplifier. Uh, I want to say, and no, you have hot spots on this amplifier. You have hot spots on this amplifier. You have everything that happens the tunnel on this amplifier. So you would have hot spots. You would have mist pods. Um, you'd have that little works. So there would be different hot spots locations. So there would be some in here, some around here, some in between the imp amp block off and stuff, and then. If you don't have impl Amplifier and you have the rest of them, this actually has the Tornado, um, Storm Zone, Space Rocks. So you have a whole different set of modifiers. And then the Tunnel uh, North or Tunnel East hotspots hit on different locations. So you physically can't do a one build tutorial for Flex Amplifier. So it's going to be dependent on your amplifier setup. And that's what I'm working on right now is I have to appease a lot of you and I'm figuring out how to do it. Um, cause it's not just as simple as, okay, well, I'm just going to make one build and it's going to work for everybody because the hotspots hit on different spots. Tornado hits on different spots. Um, 
there's different block off connections between imp and stuff so that's what we got to figure out as well as i know the people that have tunnel east um if and this little uh flex amp they have smasher wave on this and this isn't going to work because this is where the spawn is for flex north so i suggest just taking them right through here or taking them up through this left pathway um but when i do get to that point and make that video you'll see what i do for it but yeah i mean that's the closing thoughts on this series and we will do a mini series for flex when i get it all fleshed out so i do hope you guys enjoyed this series uh let me know how well your runs have been going if not uh report any bugs in my discord because that's important to me that i know what's going on and i really appreciate you guys's time and commitment to these builds and watching my channel all right peace